Hey, we're gonna be focusing on the core today. We got a 10 minute core workout, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. All right, we ain't gonna waste any more time. Probably this time is valuable. Hell so money, we're gonna get right dollars. into it, all right? Because exercise is accessible anywhere. And if you don't believe us, just watch us show you. We got the timer set up. It's a 10 minute Tabata timer, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. The first thing we're gonna do is a plank. I'm gonna click start. You got 10 seconds. All right, you got 10 seconds now. We're about to get right into it. So we're gonna do this all fours position. All right, in three seconds, we're gonna come up to a nice high hold plank. Or you can do it Let's down go. on the elbows. It's up to you. It's just 30 seconds though, all right? Whew. Which is exactly what Fabio and I need because we just got done with a mad hard workout Check that included out. a dumbbell and a kettlebell for Fabio. And so this is the perfect addition to the end of that workout. It was a nice quick 10 minute core session. Less than 15 seconds left. Hey, if you're shaking, you're putting in work. Yep, if you're shaking, that means them calories are baking, baby. All right, you're cooking them out of you. Five seconds. Boom, rest. we're coming down. We get 30 seconds of rest. All right, today's goal is not core. We're not here to burn a whole bunch of calories. We're here to get you moving and get your core strengthened. All right, so we're focusing on core movements. Nothing's gonna be too intense. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do crunches, but we're gonna do them the effective way, all right? Crunches just make your core look good. They don't do much else. But if you hold it and you squeeze it, that'll add just a little bit of something on top. So let's get down into this nice position here for these crunches. Let's go. You come up off the shoulder blades and you squeeze. All right, you come up off the shoulder blades and you squeeze. You can do whatever you want with your hands. It doesn't matter, you can reach for those heels. You can keep them on your chest. All you're looking for is the shoulder blades off the ground and then you squeeze, all right? Nice little one to two second squeeze at the top. Woo! Bring it back down. All right. Oh, keep it going Let's two go. more seconds. Rest. Boom, now we get 30 seconds of rest here, all right? And again, we're not trying to kill you or anything mm -hmm. like that. We're trying to get you a nice, strong core. We're teaching your core new things. If you're a beginner and any of these movements are new, let us know down in the comments section. All right, we wanna congratulate you for trying new things. The next one we're gonna be doing is a back extension, all right? Sometimes you'll see these in your workout apps called Ooh. Supermans. We're calling them back extensions today. Laying out, arms and legs out, lifting right back down, lifting right back down. All right, bringing that torso up with you really arching that back, all right? Squeezing those erector muscles in your back. 15 Ooh. more seconds, that's it. Let's go. Squeezing your glutes at the top as well. Working those shoulders a little bit. Rest. Good. And you can see we're not going crazy with the rep speed. We're not repping them out like mad people, all right? It's because what we're focusing on doing, it's like we said, building strength, all right? You're gonna build some stability as well. Let's see what's next on the list. Fabio, I can't read that. Can you read that? Yo, penguin taps. We got penguin taps. This is a favorite. We used to do these all the time when we used to go on live, live on Facebook. Workouts. <laughs> so you come here, it's pretty much a crunch. And then all you're doing from that Let's crunch, go. reaching for those baby toes. You gotta go. make sure I don't hit this pole, knock my shit out. <laughs> Dusty Dungeon of Doom, y'all watch out, it's here to take your life. To That's why you're life. able to work out at home and not in this dangerous place. Yeah, you don't wanna work, never work out in a workout environment like we are. This shit is dangerous. We got glass on the floor. We got rusty nails coming out the ceiling. That one's not even a joke. That one's for real. <laughs> Just be careful. Last few seconds. Rest. Boom. Oh, Just like that, we're done. Fabio, you're killing it. Penguin, next baby. thing we're gonna do, let me see what's up next. Plank with side steps. This one's great, it's a plank variation because normal planks are boring. Boring. You don't want to just keep doing them all the time. You got to do something to confuse the muscle a little bit. Just like when you're doing push-ups, you can do something called a prowler push-up, and that like engages your shoulders and engages your back, your core. You know, you want to switch things up. You don't want to just keep doing the same thing forever and ever and ever. A lot of people will get bored of that. Here we go. Let's go. Boom, we sidestepping now. 30 seconds once again. But now we just have a little bit of movement from that lower body challenging our core stability even more. You're gonna get stronger every time you do this, y'all. Yep. Props to you for making it this far during this workout. We are halfway done. Almost finished here, last five seconds. That's it, five more seconds. 
Yeah, oh. just Woo. like that, we coming down. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna be on our backs. We're gonna do a boat pose. Oh, right? I love boat pose. If you've never done a boat pose, you're gonna love it, all right? Now you can do a boat pose where you come onto your butt and you're almost like a V, or you can do the boat pose how we're gonna do it, right? Which is gonna be right here. I don't even know why I'm showing you. You're gonna get a, a clip of it. Right there. Yeah, it's just gonna show up on there. the screen. But yo, we ain't even gonna show you. Here we go. Boat pose. Let's go. Shoulder blades up. Boat pose. Legs extended. If you can't be right here, you can be right here. All right. It's what you got. You give it what you got. Boat pose. Boat pose. Boat pose. Boat pose. Keep those shoulder blades up. Keep those legs nice and high. Even if you gotta come down here. Boat pose. Totally fine. This is a boat pose. Boat pose. This is a boat pose. Lots of different kinds of boat poses. Is this pose. a boat pose? I don't know. That, that's pretty much a boat pose. Why not? It's a broken boat. Do whatever you want. It's just exercise. Rest. Boom. That worked. Woo. That worked. We're out here. We're almost done. We've passed the halfway point. We're moving even further to the end of the workout. Okay, we got 20 more seconds of rest. The next thing is going to be an alternating bird dog extension. This is going to work on a skill called rotary stability. So we're gonna reach our right arm out and our left leg. And we're gonna come back to the floor. We're not gonna do any elbow taps, no biggie. And then we're gonna do the other side. Boom, out, come back down to the floor. So just like I said, Let's go. right arm out, left leg, down to the floor. Working rotary stability, Woo! working coordination a little bit. And of course the core is activating to control this whole movement. This one is one where you'll benefit if you move more controlled through. You don't want to get a hundred reps in this, all right? Just like most of the exercises we've done in this workout, like I said, it's not cardio. We're not trying to burn a ton of calories. We're trying to do something that'll actually benefit you long term. Good. Probably got an extra rep because he's a gangster last step like that. Jeez. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go down on our backs, alternating dead bug extensions. Just one of my favorite core oh, dead exercises. Bugs. Dead bugs will do so much more for you than you could ever possibly believe. And it's all from one mechanism, all right? Making sure your lower back stays flat on the ground the entire time you do this, okay? Here we go, a few more seconds of rest. You can get right into it. Three seconds, legs and arms. Let's go. And again, just like the dead bug, it's alternating sides. Good. Breaths in when you come up, breath out on the way apart. Practice nasal breathing, it'll make you stronger. Rest. Woo! Woo! Just like that, we're almost done. We got two more exercises. One of them is a fan favorite for most YouTube body weight cardio workouts. All right, we're gonna be doing mountain climbers, but we're gonna show you the way we like to do them. Not as intense, not as much speed. Really focusing on the core and driving that knee up. All right, that's what we're focusing on here. Working primarily core stability with this. Again, this isn't a cardio workout. You're not gonna burn a ton of calories. You're gonna get something Let's go. that's really good for you. And then you can get a good speed where you're like, okay, I can get a nice knee drive every time at this speed. And then you stick with it. We're not jumping around. We're not going crazy. We're controlling it. That's how you get that core really burning. A few more seconds, less than 10. You got this, almost done. This last one is nice and fun. This one's a fun one coming up next. Rest. Boom, right down. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is a plank to pike. Woo. Just to give you a tip right off the bat, if your legs are a little bit wider, it's gonna be easier to get that pike higher up, okay? That comes down to flexibility in those hamstrings. Okay, 15 seconds. We're gonna get into the last workout of this workout. Last exercise of this workout. Who knows, okay, we're delirious. <laughs> One of the things. We did a hard, a mad hard workout before this. And now we're doing this, here we go. Blake. If this was too easy to you and you made it to the end, number one, right. say you made it to the end in the comments. And number two, go check out our mad hard workouts. Go check them out. If this was a breeze to you, you definitely wanna check out those mad hard workouts. So I can go a little wider. I feel like I get a little bit deeper into my, my pike there. All right? Last few seconds. Ooh. There we go. Good work, keep it up, We're come on. Five seconds. 
that. Well done. Boom. We're done right there. Oh, Congratulations. You just finished a quick 10 minute workout. It was nice and easy, okay? It wasn't too bad. If this was difficult for you, then you're right where you need to be. Find more workouts like this on our YouTube channel. If you need a little more, we got the mad hard workouts for you. And honestly, a lot of the other workouts on this channel, channel in general, are much harder than this. So check those out too. If you like this, leave us a like. We'd mad appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button, okay? And then if you don't mind, leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you wanna see us do next. What would you like to do next for your workout? And then always check out the other channels we got on this YouTube video. If you need anything else, if you wanna upgrade yourself even more past the capability of these videos, check out our website. We got a program for sale. It's catered towards people like this, people who are doing workouts from home, okay? All it takes is a little bit of effort and you can do anything. Hell yeah, baby. Woo, woo, hey -o. <laughs>